Hi, we're pastors Jerry and Julie Jenkins, Addiction Free in Christ, a ministry of miracles. And this whole TV series and this speakers meeting series is all about freedom from addiction. How we can be totally set free from the slavery we've been in through addiction. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. We're going to talk, be talking about freedom from addiction. How we can totally be set free from the absolute slavery that addiction puts us in. There's many good programs out there, but many of those programs are designed on a theory of man. There's no theory of man that will set man free. The only thing that can set somebody free is the living word of God. You know, Jesus said this. He said, you did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you to bring forth fruit and that that fruit should remain. And so here's the thing. We can't change anyone, but Jesus Christ can change anyone. He changed me. He changed Julie, and he can change you or anyone else that's struggling with addiction. Many times I'll have parents come to me and they'll say, they'll talk to me about their children and how their children are struggling. And I will explain to them one thing and one thing only you can do, and that's pray. Pray, God, whatever it takes, bring that child to you. Because the first place, no one can ever be set free from addiction without faith. They have faith. They have to have faith to read this book. They have to have faith to believe in this book. Because the only thing that can set a person free is the living Word of God. Without the Word of God, you cannot be set free. I tried and tried for years. I was talking to someone recently about how someone was struggling with, with a problem in their life. I remember when I had my addiction, it was killing me. I was dying from alcoholism, and I knew it. I could not stop. I would try for three or four days, maybe go even a week sometimes, and then I'd be off and running again. Tried to quit smoking, I don't know how many times. I threw enough cigarettes away to probably uh, buy a new car. You know, and, and then two or three days later, I had to have one, I had to have one. There's no way we can stop, and that's the problem. See, many programs teach people to get into recovery, and you're going to be in recovery the rest of your life, but they're going to work you through this problem. Well, I was in recovery, and in recovery, I went to every A that there was, and nothing worked for me, because recovery will not deliver you. You know, it talks about in the Bible, and I think it's in Romans, the sixth chapter, know you not that who you present yourself slaves to obey, you're that one slave who you obey, whether sin leading to death, and that means separation from God forever, or obedience to righteousness. Then it goes on to say, but, thank, but God be thanked, though you were slaves of sin, you obeyed from the heart that form of doctrine which you were delivered. And then it goes on and says, and having been set free from sin, you became slaves of righteousness. See, but to have all that, there's one ingredient we have to have, and that's faith. Because the Bible says without faith, it's impossible to please God. And without faith in God's word, which is the only thing that can set you free, it's impossible to be set free. There's no program, there's no book in the world, there's nothing any man wrote that will ever set anyone free. Only the living word of God. And Julie, you've experienced that also. Yeah, Jesus set me free from um, alcohol and drugs, and um, he'll set you free too. All you have to do is call out on him. He's the way, the truth, and the life. And no one comes to the Father except through him, it says in John 14. So what we got to keep in mind is nothing is too difficult for God. He, nothing's outside his control including your loved one, who, whoever's listening today, we just want you to be encouraged and blessed in the Lord that He loves you. He's not out of control of your situation. He's, he, uh, he knows every thought you're thinking. Psalm 139, before, uh, before you even have a word on your, on your tongue, He knows it completely. So the Lord is with you. He's, he's your champion. He's going to be fighting for you in this uh, prayer of faith, 
and he will be with you always, even to the end of the age, he said. So, um, and whoever believes in him will not be put to shame. So we want you to be encouraged by that today because I know from experience, he is a, a deliverance God. He is a God will set you free from whatever is controlling your life. Because sometimes alcohol or drugs can be just a symptom of an inner uh, faulty coping process. So, um, and God will want to do this for you. So um, we want you to call us at 217-617-5577 if you're struggling in, in any area or if you had no, have a loved one that you want to get in touch with us, just please give us a call at that number or you can write us or email us at revjerry at addictionfreeinchrist.com. That's revjerry at addictionfreeinchrist.com or go to our website. Have, have someone go to our website and look it up for you if you need to at addictionfreeinchrist.com. Thank you, Julie. And for the people in the speakers' meetings, I want to address that for a minute. Because you brought up a very good point. God is with us all the time. See, the problem is, it's hard to have faith in something you haven't seen. You know, we can have faith in a vehicle that we look at and we know we're going to get in it and drive it and it's going to do whatever, or a particular subject or something that we can see and actually work with and see it happen. We, the problem with God with about so many people is that if they can't see him, if they can't see Jesus, they just really, it's hard for them to have faith. I remember one time, Julie, I was speaking in a church and I was speaking on the Word of God. This is what the Word of God says. Now, the people are always, many times even churches, trying to change, well, that's not what Jesus meant. This is what he said, but that's not what he really meant. <clears throat> well, we have politicians say that today. You know, well, somebody said I said that, but that's not what I meant. Well, the Word of God, <clears throat> when Jesus said something, that's exactly what he meant. And so I was preaching on that at this church. And about two or three days later, a member of that church called me up and said, I got a real problem with your message. And I said, well, I'm, I'm sorry about that. He said, well, I suppose you said that Jesus said this and that's the way it was. And I said, well, that's exactly right. That's what the Bible said. And he said, well, I suppose if you said to, to, to go to a mountain, be cast into the sea and, 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 and move and can't be cast into the sea, it's going to happen. And you know what? I've had many mountains, many mountains in my life. And yes, I prayed them through and I said, Jesus, take this mountain and get it out of my life. And he did. And so we have to believe the word of God to receive salvation, to receive deliverance, to receive healing, to be set free from addiction. The first thing you have to do is believe. Again, the Bible says without faith, it's impossible to please God. Julie. Amen. And so the hardest thing for us today we're in a whole different world. We're in a whole different world. Uh, of course, I'm a lot older than a lot of people. I remember when uh, we didn't have cell phones. I remember, I remember when you picked up the phone and there was somebody there and you said, call a certain number. You know, things have changed. And when change is good, in many cases, but in time, sometimes because of change, we get so wrapped up in technology that we drift away from the Word of God. And I think that's, that's a dangerous point because, well, God can't really mean this. Can't, God can't really do this, but He can. Oh, yeah. And yeah. God is where, Julie? He's everywhere. Everywhere. He's omnipresent, right? Yeah, He fills the whole heavens and earth, He says, Yeah. in His Word. So if you're in a speaker's meeting right now, God's in that speaker's meeting right there with you. If you're watching this on TV, God's right there where you're watching this on TV. When you leave that speaker's meeting, you don't leave and God stay there. God goes with you. God is everywhere you are. In fact, there's a song of the Gaithers, I think. God is everywhere in all things and this and that. And we've got to get that in our mind. You see, we, many people tell me, I'll say to them, do you pray the man upstairs? Oh yeah, I prayed the man upstairs. Well, you got a problem. 
Because there is no man upstairs. God is a living, he's a living being. Yeah. There's God the Father, Jesus Christ the Son, and the Holy Spirit. There are three spiritual beings that are all the same. And they're everywhere. The Word of God is living, the Bible says. Powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even the division of the soul and the spirit and the joint and the moral. And there's a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. And there's no creature hidden from his sight who we must all give an account. See, God isn't that mystical creature out there somewhere. God is right here with you. He's right here in the same room where you're watching this if you're watching this on WTJR, he's in the same room you're in. He's sitting right there beside you watching this TV program. If you're in a speaker's meeting right now, and you're watching this on TV, on, your, on a video there, or if you're somewhere in the world watching this on YouTube, which we put these on our YouTube channel, God is right there with you. Just as he's sitting right here with Julie and I as we're doing this program. For this whole month, we're talking about faith. We're talking without faith, it's impossible to please God. In fact, without faith, there is no joy. Because without Christ in your life, you have a tremendous void. When God made us, I truly believe, he reached in and took a little pinch of us out, and he saved that for him. And when he's not inside of us, we're empty. We have nothing. We have nothing but the world, and we have the enemy who comes to steal, kill, and destroy. So I want to encourage you today. I don't care what you're going through. God loves you right where you are. If you're sitting somewhere right now struggling with alcoholism, God's sitting right there with you. And God loves you. God knows. I was talking to someone recently about a friend they had or a loved one who had an addiction. And uh, how the loved one just couldn't get rid of it. We cannot get, we can't get rid of addiction. God has to set us free. Because he's the only way, the only truth, and the only life. Jesus Christ is the only answer. So today if you're struggling, all you have to do is just say, God, I've tried. I've tried and I've tried and I've tried to stop whatever it is, smoking, drinking, gambling, whatever the case may be. But he loves you so much. All he wants you to do is surrender to him. So right now, I just ask you, you just say, God, forgive me. I know that I, I failed you. I know that I can't stop. But God, I'm asking you today, Jesus, forgive me of my sins. Jesus, right now, just lift me up and set me free. Because your word promises, Jesus, if the Son sets you free, you shall be free indeed. I believe your word. I'm going to stand on it today. And I'm going to thank you right now in advance for setting me free. And from this day on, I'm free.